this lecture we will be discussing about another variant of dfa which is known as mallet machine what is mallet machine and how it is different from mure machine uh, mure machine was a machine which was uh, dependent here where the output was actually dependent upon the present state only but in mallet machine the output will be dependent upon transition transition means whatever you have done any kind of any change that you have done the output will be dependent upon that transition so the transition directly doesn't happen so for transition to basically get executed we require present state along with that we require present input it means directly your mele machine is dependent upon present state along with present input so when they both combine together they create a transition and the output of mele machine is dependent upon present state and present input also along with that uh, or we can say that present input and state becomes a transition so output actually depends upon transition like for an example uh, i am writing a uh, mallet machine m so whatever input i have done the output is in front of you so it means any change i am doing over here with the return of mallet and then machine it means any change that i am doing on my open board is present in front of you so whatever you are seeing is an output and whatever change i am doing uh, on that particular open board that is a transition i am doing and the output is in front of you like even your google search uh, you try to type dfa the moment you write d so many searches are available in front of you the moment you write f so many searches are available in front front of you the moment you write dfa so many searches regarding dfa comes over here it means any change that you are making your mele machine output is dependent upon that change that transition so this is known as mele machine so like mure machine it also has some certain tuples same tuples that we have basically drawn like for an example we have capital q which is set of states then input symbols uh, this uh, sigma that we have drawn then we have output alphabet now our output alphabet over here is de actually dependent upon your transition only it means your present state combined with present input your output alphabet is there then we have fourth uh, is uh, the transition any state given any input it provides a particular state also then we have uh, the fifth symbol which is known as transition function or it is output actually it is known as output function so your output function what it does it maps the states and output alphabet all together so it means your output alphabet is dependent upon your present state and present input your output function this is known as your output function and it is dependent upon whatever change you are making the change happens because of present state and present input and last not the least you have initial state to look after fine so i am basically trying to construct that mele machine so we have an example we will take a string and we'll get the output of that particular string that means the acceptability in uh, your mele machine so let's just discuss that yeah so the question that is there in front of you that we have a particular state like over here this is a state fine uh, in in that particular state uh, q1 is your initial state and then accordingly we have certain other states like q1 when it is given uh, 0 it gives q3 and the output of that transition is 0 so it means that whenever any state is gi given any input this is your input given to it and this is another input that is given to it uh, input 1 and input 0 so when q1 is given 0 you basically reach q3 but the output of that transition is 0 so we in mallet machine we are actually focusing on 
again I, my basic focus is you have to focus on output of transition and if you are focusing on that you will construct your mla machine easily like for an example i start from your initial state which is given which is q1 see a q1 when it is given zero just check what it goes it basically goes to q3 so whenever zero is given to q1 it goes to q3 fine this is the change that you have done but what is the output of that change it means the output of that transition which is present input present input is zero and present state which we have is q1 if you go to from q1 with given zero it goes to q3 but the output of that change is zero so it means you will write zero over here similarly uh, guys uh, you have to focus on q1 when it is given one so q1 when it is given one it goes to q2 so q1 when it is given one it goes to q2 but output of that change is zero so i'm writing zero over here means q1 when one is given over here it goes to q2 so q1 when one is given it goes to q2 and output of that change is zero so that's why i've written like this fine so we have to focus on again output of transition only so this was one kind of case uh, we can try for the other cases also like uh, we can try for uh, q2 q2 when zero is given it goes to q1 so guys like, this is actually written as q1 only so i am writing it if it is not clear so q2 when it is given zero uh, it goes to q q1 and the output of that transition is one so i am writing one over so q2 when one is given it goes to q4 and the output of that transition is zero so you are writing like that it means q2 when one is given it goes to q4 and the output of that transition is zero so that's why you have written like that q3 when zero is given it goes to q2 so over here your q3 when zero is given it goes to q2 but the output of that transition is one the output of that transition is one so i'm writing one over here q3 when one is given it goes to q1 so q3 when one is given it actually goes to q1 and the output of that transition is zero so you have written zero like that q4 when zero is given it goes to itself and the output of that transition is one and q4 when one is given it goes to q3 and the output of that transition is zero so that's how we have written like that this is the concept of mele machine and how mele machine is constructed everything is dependent upon the transition so even q4 when it is listen if uh, q4 when it is given one it actually goes to q3 and the output of the transition is zero so that's why we have written like that fine so this is a mele machine constructed and how you are accepting acceptability of a string we have a string which is given as 0011 right so how we are going to process so obviously we start with initial state so we have initial state which is given to us is uh, your q1 yeah so guys just check q1 when zero is given q1 when zero is given it actually goes to q3 but the output of transition is zero it means q1 when zero is given it goes to q3 and the output of that transition was zero so i'm writing that similarly q3 when zero is given q3 when zero is given it goes to q2 so the output of that transition is q3 when zero is given it goes to q2 and the output of that transition is one so i'm writing one over here. so q2 double one is given q2 when one is given just check q2 when one is given it goes to q4 and the output of transition is zero so it means i will get the output transition is zero and it goes to q4 and you are left with q4 so q4 when one is given q4 when one is given it goes to q3 and the output of the transition is zero so i am writing zero and i am left with q3 state so over here when input 
zero zero double one is given, your output is zero zero one zero. This is your Malay machine, and that's how you basically solve it. So thank you very very much. Uh, in the next lecture, we will be doing the conversion of Mure to Malay and Malay to Mure. Thank you.